My name's Daryl Shear and my job title is Curriculum Leader for Design Technology at Ringmer Community College. I've been involved in the setting up and the organising and the running of the engineering diploma. It's basically my responsibility to make sure it's set up and running smoothly. Once we received the specifications from the exam board, we had to sift through them and find out what we did know and what we didn't know. And as a result of that, we then started to put in place things to help us with our training. Today we've been focusing our part of our training package with uh, Daryl and the team here at Ringmer, and we've been looking at bridging some of the technical uh, deficiencies that they might have in terms of teaching a specific unit within the level two diploma. In, in industry, this this system here would be uh, could be a parts sorting, so there could be a number of components that go to make up something. Our work with the schools is a partnership and we're on hand to give support and advice and best practices which we bring from other schools and colleges in order for the school to achieve its aims. How we set up is in the summer term we had two away days and that was with the exam board as well as DV8, the company who we're working with for industrial links. We had the staff that were interested in working in the diploma and we looked at the staff's strengths and the areas that they were interested of delivering the diploma. So we worked with the staff strengths, then we looked at the logistics of who would be paired with who and working on each day, because we wanted to make sure the staff skills complemented each other, and therefore we were going to create an environment more like Further Education College, so students could go from room to room after they'd been briefed and maybe have one morning with one member of staff and the afternoon with another member of staff, depending on their area of focus. It's really fundamental to have staff that feel enthusiastic about the diploma and also are prepared to transfer their skills and their expertise within each other to create a strong team. You also are in a situation where there's maybe staff you haven't worked closely with before, so it's all le about learning about each other's different teaching styles as well. What we started to do first was uh, look at our, our local universities. Uh, quite, quite fortunate there, we've got two, we've got Brighton University and Sussex University, um, both with very strong engineering departments. Um, so we've been able to offer our services in terms of our equipment, and as a trade-off they would come and deliver sessions to our staff and students, which has been fantastic. My advice would be, number one, make sure that the people that are going to be working on the diploma and delivering the diploma understand and know what skills each person has and ha what skills they can learn from each other. The feedback from students and parents have been extremely positive I and mean, obviously they've taken a great leap of faith in, in doing this new diploma so for them to personally say that they're really enjoying it and getting a lot out of it is, is, is great news for us, it's, it's been brilliant. Mm -hmm.